This fly larva is capable of taking out a cow. It's called the New World Screwworm, and it is probably the scariest fly you have never heard of. The larva feeds on living animals, eating them from the inside out in just 10 days. The screwworm was one of the deadliest blights on American livestock for decades, from the 1930s to the 1980s, infecting farm animals, wildlife, even humans and it costs ranchers hundreds of millions of dollars a year. That's over a billion dollars today. After a decades-long effort by the USDA to push the screwworm south into Panama using a novel technique involving sterile flies, it was finally eradicated in the US in 1981. And since then, we haven't thought about it much, until now. The fight to stop a flesh-eating parasite from spreading to the U.S. is ramping up. In Mexico, where the screwworm has been eradicated since the early 1990s, more than 950 cases have been reported since the start of this year. If a major infestation runs unchecked, it could have significant impact on American consumers. Cattle supplies are already really tight, and the damages could drive up the cost of beef the way that avian flu led to record egg prices in the U.S. It would also cause billions in damages to the U.S. economy. The head of the USDA Brooke Rollins sent a letter to Mexico essentially accusing them of impeding the U.S.'s screwworm response efforts, threatening to shut the U.S. border to livestock. The U.S. and Mexico signed a deal on April 30th, essentially allowing the U.S. to fly USDA planes over Mexico to treat the areas worst affected by screwworms. But experts say it's going to take time and money that ranchers just don't have to fully respond to the threat of the screwworm. And all of this at a time where job cuts and insecurity in Washington has hampered government agencies. And in the meantime, the cattle industry is doing anything it can to avoid being screwed.